Hey guys, it's Meredith at LimeCompass.net and I have an educational video for you today on Spilanthes. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video and I was weeding this bed and thought, oh my goodness, you need to, you need to tell people about Spilanthes. Um, you can see here, uh, Tulsi is always coming up in our beds as our uh, friendly weed and um, this one here is the Tulsi that's flowering that the bees are going crazy over. You can see there's like native bees, bumblebees, honeybees, um, wonderful medicine and amazing pollinator plant. But over here we have the Spilanthes, uh, which is Acmilla um, is a Latin name. And this is an amazing plant. It's um, it doesn't get very tall and it's wonderful just to put in the front of your flower beds. And it's an amazing medicinal. Um, it's anti-parasitic, it's anti-malarial, and whenever, I've mentioned in the past, whenever you hear anti-malarial, we should think Babesia. Um, it's antibacterial, antiviral, and a very strong antifungal. Um, it helps fight against uh, candida, um, thrush, uh, nail fungus, athlete's foot, um, any bit of that. Um, the leaf is, um, is used and it is quite a powerful, um, uh, what's the right word? It, it, it will stimulate the saliva glands. And um, if any of you are familiar with um, the taste, tingly taste in your mouth from Echinacea, uh, Spilanthes is like times 20. You get this uh, very tingly feeling in your mouth. And um, it has been, um, it has been called toothache plant, and it is very well known for its youth, use in, uh, in oral health, where a lot of people will use it as a mouthwash uh, or rinse after brushing. Um, but internally, it can be uh, really helpful in Lyme disease. Um, for me, and everybody is different, I have learned over the course of many, many years that I have to switch up treatment about every three months. Um, it might sound crazy, but it, it feels like either my immune system gets used to the treatment or the bug adapts to the treatment. And so I switch out a lot of um, antibacterial, antimicrobial herbs about every three months. So um, I take reishi often, and then sometimes I'll switch to echinacea, sometimes I'll switch to spilanthes, sometimes um, I'll switch to different uh, medicinal fungi. Um, but just to keep that, uh, the variety of an antimicrobial in the system. Um, so interesting things about Spilanthes is that it will help increase the white blood cell count. Um, it increases the production of leukocytes. Um, it can help by, by, um, stimulating the saliva glands. Um, it can also, that action will also help the movement of the lymphatic system. Um, and let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, in um, certain animal studies, mammal studies, which I would love to see done on humans, but in mammals, it, it increases testosterone production. And I know a lot of men and women um, dealing with Lyme disease, um, have hormone imbalance um, as sort of a cascade effect of the systemic inflammation that we've got going on. So Spilanthes, um, such a such a lovely powerhouse. This this one will definitely make your mouth tingle. <laughs> um, might be harder for children to take because of that tingly bit. Um, it's a plant that I really like to use fresh. Um, I wouldn't make tincture from dried spilanthes unless I was severely desperate, but um, I think that the fresh is the way to go, and 60% um, alcohol is the um, recommended amount for tincturing. And it's such a fun, happy little plant, and just um, 
I just need to mention because uh, doctrine of signatures is always sort of an interesting, uh, interesting aspect for me. Doctrine of signatures um, is a is basically um, the plant showing you what it's good for. It's sort of like um, how it appears might be an indi indication of what it should be used for in the body. Where like if you think of mullen, you turn those mullen leaves over and they look just like lungs. Well, check out the bullseye. <laughs> I just think that's kind of interesting. It's got these wonderful red rings. And um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching you guys. I hope everyone's doing well.